Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to Glass Hands YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Substance Painter and it's going to be kind of an intro and we're going to be doing this in parts now. So I have a few announcements before we get started. Uh, we're going to try to start recording every Thursday here at Glass Hands. So I got Aaron helping me. He's running the Wirecast right now. And another really exciting announcement is that we're going to try to start doing live streams. So uh, we're going to be announcing those dates soon as well. So we're going to be doing those on YouTube. So you guys can join us and we can have conversations and meet more as a community online while I'm doing some of this stuff. So um, that will be released soon. Uh, but for today, let's go ahead and jump into Substance Painter and get started. We're going to start to uh, actually bring in our models today. Um, we're going to use the Stormtrooper helmet again. So we're going to bring that in. I'm going to show you guys how to do some different cool stuff with ID mats and... Uh, be able to start setting up everything and using smart materials inside of Substance. So, uh, Substance is an awesome software. I was using it, um, yeah, I think at 1.5 is when I started using it, uh, and they have made tons of improvements. And of course, if you guys haven't seen the Substance Designer tutorial, we'll put that link uh, here in the video so you guys can click on that. Definitely check that one out first because it's going to give you a lot of um, good information so that when you dive into Substance Painter, you'll probably feel more at home uh, just because they're very similar how they're set up. But uh, without further ado, I'll stop babbling. We'll go ahead and jump into Cinema 4D. I have it up already. And this is our Stormtrooper helmet. It's a little bit different from last time. Uh, actually, if we look at the uh, Body Paint UV Edit tab, we'll go ahead and look at the UVs. So I'll select everything in polygon mode and then I'll grab my UV polygons and you can see I just got everything kind of nicely laid out here. Uh, we got kind of like the hero um, portion of the model scaled up nice and large there on the top and we got it broken up into separate islands. And um, you can see these are the different tubes and they're laid out and this should work just fine for us. So everything is uh, equal island size, so we're going to get the same texture resolution on each island um, as it appears in the viewport. So this portion is so large, um, it may be beneficial to break this up. Uh, since we're taking it into a 3D painting application, we could probably break this up a little bit more and then be able to equalize these islands and get a little bit more texture resolution out of this. But um, I think it'll be fine. We're going to be doing 4096 uh, by 4096. And I think this will be okay. But I just wanted to go ahead and give that um, information just in case you guys wanted to download the scene file as well. So you can check out the scene file on Gumroad. We always put them up for 99 cents. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, begin laying out the different ID mats that we're going to do. Okay, so this is pretty much the same as the uh, masks that I was doing in Substance Designer. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my... Let's see, we're going to go to our colors and we're going to start selecting um, different parts of this mask by um, different materials. So the eyes, we could go ahead and select these eyes and I'm in UV polygon mode right now, just selecting these guys. So this will actually be part of our ID material. So I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll select the other side as well. So once we get all these selected. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to add another layer to this. So let's make sure that we are creating a new texture. And this will be our ID. Um, let's go ahead and call this ID map, something like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it's named, and then we'll go ahead and it's 8-bit, that's fine, and it's going to be color information. Let's go ahead and add a new layer, and then we'll go ahead and fill the polygons with, let's do 100% red. So we'll start out RGB um, on the different material types, so red, green, blue, and we'll say that that is good. We don't need this background for right now. Uh, let's add another layer, and this will be for the teeth. So let's go ahead and just go into polygon selection mode. It'll be a lot easier for us to double click each of the teeth portions. 
like so. And then we'll go ahead back into UV polygon mode and let's do 100% uh, green. So we can actually change this from HSV to RGB and let's just do 100% green. Okay, there we go. And we'll fill. Those are our teeth. And then let's do these like weird kind of uh, pipe, these metal pipe things on the bottom of the mask. And let's make this 100% blue. Okay, so we'll get a new layer and we'll just add this in as blue. We gotta be in UV polygons to be able to fill. And um, let's see, I'm trying to think of the different material types of this. So for our, we'll just go ahead and do the easy one. Uh, this is gonna be our white. So let's make this like a yellowish kind of color. I think that'll be okay for yellow. Um, we're gonna be able to select these inside of Substance Painter. So uh, you'll definitely see how this is gonna work here in a little bit. Somehow I've lost, where is this? Oh, here we go. So sometimes you will actually um, deselect the ID map, so you just need to go ahead and select that in the textures portion. Uh, sometimes when I click around, uh, it will get lost, but we'll add this into a new layer. And we'll fill this with yellow. And you can see I accidentally overrid the eyes. So um, one thing we can do is just take this layer and put it right after the background. Like so. And then we'll just fill it again. So that way we still retain the red from the eyes. And the last thing we need to do is just add uh, these smaller details in, um, and especially the ears. We want to get that in as well. So let's select these ear cap pieces and let's select a different color. So maybe we'll do, uh, we'll, we will try a like purple for this. So let's go back to our ID and we need to make a new layer. So you can see how these layers are in, come in handy, especially when they overlap certain objects. So we need to go back to UV polygon mode and let's go ahead and fill. So now we have green, yellow, purple, blue, red, and we need to actually select these bottom portions here. So I'm just going through and double clicking and it looks like these aren't connected. Uh, that's no big deal. We can just do a quick Optimize with nothing selected, and then now you can see that they're all they're all connected in terms of their ver vertices being welded. Okay, so everything looking good. Let's make this a let's see. Let's try like maybe a teal. We'll go back to our ID mat. We'll have a new layer, and we will fill those. Okay, cool. It looks like everything has been filled and uh, our D mat is looking pretty good. So let's save this out. First of all, I will add a new layer for the background. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill this layer with white. So I'm going to grab the We'll go over here to the colors. We'll make it completely white and then we will fill. So we'll grab the fill layer and there we go. So this is going to work great for our ID mat. We'll go ahead and save this texture as and PNG will work fine. Hit OK. And now we're going to find out where we're going to save this. So let's save this in our substance painter. Our mesh data maps and it'll be our ID map, okay? So let's go ahead and save. And uh, that will do it. So in the next tutorial, we're actually gonna look at um, going into Substance Designer and we're gonna get a few more mesh ID. Uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna get a few mesh data maps um, created. We're gonna do curvature, uh, world space normals, 
and position data. We're going to do a lot of things that we're going to be able to use inside of Substance Painter. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate all the awesome comments. Uh, if you got, haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe now. Uh, leave a like on the video. And uh, let us know what you guys are thinking for other tutorials, because like we said, we're going to try to do it every Thursday. And we're really excited to get more involved with YouTube uh, as we had before. So thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.